Hello guys, uh, this is Sam just bringing you uh, the specs on how to torque the variable valve time sprocket, which is going to be these guys here. You're going to use an 18 uh, socket. So the first step you want to do is um, after you install the whole chain, the whole thing, uh, you want to torque this to 22 pounds and then release the, um, the timing um, tensioner which is it's right in the back of it you use a I believe it's a 32 uh, and then what you want to do is uh, to release it there's, it's a spring loaded you want to hit in this part right here where I have my bolt right there and as you guys can see it right there you want to hit it right in this part like that you want to whack it with something like just hit it very tiny and eventually this tensioner right here is going to actuate and that's it so after you do that then you want to go ahead and put a 24 uh, wrench right in this guy and then you want to torque this to a 22 pounds okay so you want to hold it here all right See if I can get that on video. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and and torque it to 22 pounds. So you want to hold this. There you go, 22 pounds. Now, after you torque this 22 pounds, uh, you want to get a degree. I have a remat, uh, what's it called? Uh, I have a, what's it called the um, the Chevy use, but I really don't trust it, and I don't have one. I don't have a um, uh, what do you call those those snap on expensive uh, torque wrenches? I don't have one, so what I use, I use this guy here. And the way this one works is you want to set it up with the socket here. You need to put the socket here. And with the wrench, you want to go here. I'm going to set it up real quick, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so I have set up um, to zero degrees just by, my, by moving this clock here. Zero degrees. And you want to place it right here like that. All right. So I'm going to torque it. Alright, before another another quick tip. Uh, I was going to mark this guy here. Put a mark right in here. Like that. I'm going to put another mark right here. So I put two marks. Right there. Okay. I put two marks. All right. All right. So now that we have the mark, we need to torque this thing a hundred degrees. So uh, you need to get like a like a wrench or anything like that. Um, you need to get a wrench and torque this guy to 90 degrees. All right. Okay, so I have torque it to a 90 degrees right there. And that's where my mark is. All right, so now we're going to do the second one. Okay, so I have torque 100%, uh, 90, uh, one degrees on the crown on the variable valve timing sprocket, so that should be okay. Now the other thing I want to know, I want to tell you is that 
all those bolts um, they're on the chain like that one on the uh, guides and all everything you see in the guides including uh, the little ones those are uh, 89 inch pound and that should be the torque for those alrighty guys thank you for watching if you have any question let me know